Mm, hey guys, what's up? My name is Jess. So we're gonna talk about a nice, easy base guide for you all. <clears throat> so let's get the uh, let's get the basics done first. So when it comes to your pal box, you place it down. You want to put it on foundation only if you are not doing raids. Once one of these structures go boom, right, once one of these structures go bye bye, and the pal box is on top of it, everything is gonna go bye bye. Your pals, well, they're not gonna go by, but they're gonna go back into the box, but still. So starting from the pal box, you build outwards nine tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Even if it's outside the radius. Obviously, you won't be able to build when you're outside the radius of the pal box, but you want to build it just so that you have a grid. A nice, even grid, so you can have some symmetry, right? Starting from the pal box, you build nine tiles outwards. On tile, I believe this is nine, eight, seven, six. On tile six, you build up one, and you build three staircases, but just adjacent to each other, not upwards. Okay. Then you fill out the area to nine tiles, three, uh, just three by three. And then you go up two tiles for stairs, and you build all the way left and right. All right. So it looks like this. And the reason why you want to do this is because the more tiles you have, the pals will be able to traverse it more efficiently. They won't get stuck, in other words. Okay, once you do that, fill out the walls. Make them follow the permit and build up three tiles. They have to be three tiles high or else the big fat chungas will get stuck. Even this yeoman's head will get stuck, okay? They normally only need two tiles, but you don't want their head peeking through the ceiling. Because then that's gonna affect your frame rate in addition to if you know it'll affect uh, your performance now look at this dude he's kind of chunky and he's on that bed but it's working and this is why i wanted it to be this layout you have a nice f fanned out area for the stairs right and then underneath it you have storage place the beds inside add some glass on the outside okay from the wall of the farthest tile which is where you did the three tiles, you stick beds underneath it, okay? It should be four tiles long from the farthest. One, two, three, four, including the stairs. And then you just go all the way, okay? Now, you can put the cats on the side, so that's a nice four by, or two by two tile opening for the big guys if you end up having mammoths. I don't think I have a nocturnal mammoth, but I do have a mammoth. And this is not my... This is not this, uh, one of the accounts that has everything unlocked. Um, this is my uh, a different one, so I don't have some things unlocked, so let me just put that out there. Uh, my other server, I have everything unlocked and whatnot. So yeah, you want to keep everything open, or you want to have a four, uh, a four, a total of four tiles open, okay? So that the big guys can go in, and then they plop down, and they go, they go sleepy. Okay, you want to mimic it for the other side. Okay, but this side, I put my storage here because uh, you, I, for some reason, you spawn on the southern side. I just look to my left and boom. I slap against this, press open, store it, I'm on my way. Okay? So, make sure you follow this layout. The cats go on the corners of every single one. Okay, so it looks nice. Big open space, pals do not get stuck. Now, moving on to the second floor. This is my elevator, by the way. Second floor has breeding, farming, and eventually grazing in this side. Same exact layout. Stairs, stairs, three tiles wide, by the way, and three tiles high, okay? You're just doing the exact same thing, and if you need reference, either reference back to this video, pause it, okay, or, just look at your side, okay? So by that, I mean look at your stairs. Okay, my stairs are the same on that stairs, okay? My cats are the same on that cats, okay? When it comes to the breeding cages, however, you gotta get lucky. You gotta get lucky with the placements of it because they, for some reason with the ceilings... Well, let me see if I can mimic what I'm trying to say. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes you see this. It becomes lopsided, and then you have to deal with that for the entire breeding pen and the issue with that is that the it you can't see the whole thing in your peripheral vision especially if you have a smaller monitor so that there's a big issue with that but anyways you cannot however put beds underneath 
this stairwell because this is leading, you know, above the stairwell. So that's why it was imperative to put beds down there. Now, <clears throat> since I went over this floor, we're gonna go to the third floor. Elevator! Whee! Third floor is my, uh, artistry, I'd say. This is where they all function and do their own stuff. They do mining. And I have a lot of mining nodes. We got four in this little area. Four in this little area. Back to back. Snap them. When I say snap, I'm not talking Thanos snap. I'm talking Power World snap. Alright, put them back to back. You put one down. Hold down control. You have this blue hue of, uh, of things. And then you snap it. Now, unfortunately, this one's snapping to that barrel for some reason. I wish it would, like, prioritize things that I want to snap to. But that actually looks pretty good. But you want to face them back to back, so keep, just keep that in mind. Now, for the types of mining formats, this is my pinwheel format. I would like to put these in four locations on this base. For my fifth floor, I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to have one... I'm gonna have one for every single thing that looks similar. So that means stone, smaller ores, which is the same thing as the bigger ores. It's just, it's, it's a smaller one. So ores, sorry, stone, ores, dang it, coal, sulfur, and every single side. And the pinwheel, I believe, is more efficient than having, or, what is it, structured geometrical shapes, I guess, so to speak. Because the pinwheel, look, they mine over here, they mine over here, they mine over here, and it's it's just, it's nice and neat. And then, for you who's coming in to collect, once they get all filled up, you can stand on either side, okay? You stand here, if there's not a lot, and deposit. Jump over, stand here, you know, blah, blah, blah. But then if it gets too much, hop over, boom, boom, I'm lagging. And then, deposit plain and simple very easy okay third uh, fourth floor Four, fourth floor let me see if i can get up my elevator yeah right there oh all right fourth floor fourth floor uh this is this is part of the third floor by the way okay fourth floor right here we got a whole base filled with you guessed it beds this is my whole radius of beds. The big dog beds. They do, in fact, come up here. Let me say that. They do, in fact, come up here. And sometimes, to me, for my own sanity, I like to have tiles that are just open randomly so I can just pop down. Okay, but that's it. That's it. That's literally it. And what is this glass area, you may ask? So, when it comes to the glass area specifically, it attaches itself to the three tile high stairwell. It did not mimic this stairwell, by the way, because I only plan to have four tiles, but now I'm actually going to have five, maybe. And it's a secret area. Ooh. Okay, so it's a secret area where I would be pla placing beds for my pals to like just sleep on. Because it, it's cool, because it, it mimics, you know, the, the childhood aspect. Or a lifestyle where you would like hide from your parents or whatever and just you know play around and yeah it's, it's a little hiding area so to speak and i can obviously make a little door and make it like a secret secret place Boop. i'm here you know that sort of thing and yeah this is pretty much how i'd say a good base should be Obviously, it's nothing spectacular, but it certainly fulfills the need for having a decent base, a decent headquarters of sorts. Okay? And for everything that's open, put walls. You're gonna start lagging like I did just now. Alright? These things right here, put walls. Also, down here, I'm gonna add... Glass. To mimic what I have on that side. So it gives it a nice science center -y thing. Dang it. Oops. There we go. I forgot that when you destroy the thing on the bottom, it destroys the thing on top. Not good. Fix the stairs. Boom. Boom. And it looks nice and dandy, although you're looking at rocks, but still, same thing. 
<clears throat> okay. So with that being said, I hope this video has been beneficiary to you. Beneficiary? Benefiting to you, there we go. <laughs> Words. And um yeah, use them wisely because it applies to all builds you're gonna be doing. Okay? A build this, the walls that are going up against the perimeter. Okay, you see how there's an opening space there? It's because I didn't finish that floor. So yeah, and if you want an elevator, just make sure you understand that the maximum level hyper grappling gun offers is 8 tiles high. This is my elevator, watch. I spotted. Let's say I, I'm, I'm gonna spot in here, I'm gonna deposit my stuff. Or whatever, I wanna go up to my fourth floor. And I don't want to have to use my flying mount. We're going to fly in. Oh, sorry, we're going to teleport in. Fast travel in. We're going to look up and get ready to, to elevate. Like that guy is trying to do. I'm lagging as well. Looking up. Eight tiles high. Boom, boom, boom. Flew up instantly. Eight tiles high. Why do I say that? Because this tile is two tiles higher than this floor. This floor is three tiles farther from the ceiling this floor is three tiles farther from second floor ceiling so it's eight tiles in total and yeah this is practically probably my most favorable method of uh doing it and this is what and you want to layer all the appliances such as your let's say your flour if you're gonna use flour here which i don't pers i personally do not recommend using flour it has great recipes and all, but then you have to get the guys, these dudes, to water the mill. And for some reason, they don't like watering the mill. Okay. Oh, but I will water this, because we do need fiber for our beds. So yeah, when it comes to the monitoring stand, let's cover it real quick. You fly up with your grappling gun, and you land inside it. You land inside of it. This way, it's not on the floor, and you can you can manage the monitoring stand immediately, right? I want to dedicate you and you to the bedding, breeding pen. Oh my god, where is my ice guy? He's not doing that. <laughs> and yeah, so this is probably what I would recommend you do. Now, for the bottom floors, I'd put the more useless facilities, and we're going to talk about the, the medicinal ones. Where are they? Where, where is it? Medicinal one. I put the medicinal one down here, and I put the freezer down here as well. Um, when you want to set one side to workbenches, even if, okay, even if your base is not a production-oriented base, or even if your base is a production-oriented base, you still want to have it there because you just want to have ease of access. You don't want to have to teleport to your other base that has it. Well, you could just put it here. Right? Look at look at the big man. What are you doing with that piece of lettuce? I think he got lost. The only place you can put the lettuce is on the food thing that's right there. Actually, I should have made this tile glass so you could see that it's actually a food thing. But yeah, so I would put my med medicine bench right here. I'd put my freezer right here and it will fit. It fits in a one and a half tile radius. So yeah, that's pretty much the guide. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye!